Hello everyone, I'm Nick Harrison with Rocky River Woodworks. Today I'm going to be doing a tool review on my Powermatic 6 inch jointer. Okay, so I've done a few tool reviews on this channel before and you guys seem to like them, so I'm going to do it again on this one. I've had this jointer for reference for about a year and a half to two years. Prior to that, I had a Craftsman benchtop jointer um, from Lowe's. So um, just to kind of give you the back history, this is my second joiner, my first professionally grade, professional grade joiner. So um, it is a six inch joiner. It's the Powermatic. The model number is the 5454HH. Um, I got it off Facebook Marketplace used. I'm not going to go into the price because that's kind of going to vary from everywhere uh, by location. So um, the beds themselves from this end to that end is about 66 inches from this end to where the opening is at the blades is about 32 and a half on each side and then again the opening for a total of 66. the actual bed itself um, is about six and three quarter inches wide um, but only about six inches or five and seven eighths really um, is usable at the fence so the only real upgrade that this has is the mobile base on it. Um, and that changes things a little bit for the usability of this. And I guess the first thing would be that when it's on the mobile base, not sitting directly on the concrete slab floor, it does move a little bit. As you can see, it's not as stable. Um, and not that I'm, you know, on a normal day, I'm not sitting there shaking it. But if you're feeding a long board through there, um, it can move a little bit. But luckily, so far in my experience, I've been super careful and when I'm milling something that causes it to move, the piece that I'm working with that I'm milling moves with the joiner. So it's not like I've had any crazy kickback, nothing's gotten caught, nothing dangerous, nothing like that. It's just something to keep in mind. If you have a thick board that's the full width and you're really putting pressure and feeding that thing through, this base will move a little bit. Now, with that said, the base is very good. It's made by Powermatic also, specifically designed for this machine. And there's individual locks on each of the rear wheels, and then the front wheel sets down on feet where it cannot move at all. So it is good. It's just that when there's so much weight sitting on that metal base, it does move just a little bit. That could be very easily solved. If you wanted to make this more permanent, you could take the machine out of the mobile base and even bolt it down if you really wanted to. Um, but the base itself down here seems to be made of uh, sheet metal of some sort and painted very nice coating, very nice paint. The top, basically from here up, at least the outside, the main components, the adjustments back here, the casing, the fence, the bed, all that is made from cast iron. Very nice material, um, very solid, very sturdy. So this model does have the helical head upgrade. And basically what that means is instead of having two or three or four straight knife blades that go all the way across, there are 42 individual carbide tipped helical head blades. So um, there's seven blades on each run and there's six sections or six rows around that helical head. And what that does is give a little bit cleaner cut um, than a straight knife blade. And in my experience, it's also much quieter of a machine than a straight knife blade. So it might not be able to pick, be picked up on this video, but let me turn it on just to show you how quiet it is, at least in my opinion. Very quiet. I also like how quick it fires up and how quick it shuts down. The on and off switches are very nice. They are a little low down here. It would be kind of cool to have something up top. I know some other brands have them on top. Um, but so far that hasn't bothered me because typically I'm bending down a little bit to mill, mill material anyway. So it's no big deal when I get done milling here. Boom, tap the stop button. It shuts off. Once you hit the stop button, it does have something that engages in there that slows it down very quickly, which I do like as well. Um, speaking of the safety, it does have the standard, um, I guess, safety plate. I don't know the technical name for this. Uh, most joiners do have this, but the spring on it is very good. It seems to cover the blade nicely, and it is removable, which I like. Um, typically, you're not going to remove that, but if you're wanting to mill something that is wider than this, there are methods that you can do to mill something that is, for example, 10 inches wide um, with a six inch joiner, um, and you would need to remove that to do that. So, uh, but that, that is very nice. All of the other adjustments, something else that I really like is that all of the adjustments are very kind of rugged, and I mean that in a good way. Um, you're, you know, I, I seem to be kind of 
bull in a china shop when I do stuff. And what I mean is like this machine, you do not have to be delicate when you adjust things. Um, I've had things in my life, not necessarily woodworking machines, but other the machines that you try to adjust something, for example, one level, and I go in there, just do a little slight turn or a slight input, and you're adjusting at five levels. This is not the case. It's very easy to adjust. Um, it has adjustments for the bed, of course, up and down to tune how much you want to mill off at a time. And there's a little needle with a depth of cut gauge here on the front. Easy visibility. You literally just loosen this knob, loosen this knob, and you can pump this up or down to adjust that bed level. The other adjustments on here, of course, are pretty much everything dealing with the fence. And I say everything, meaning the height of the fence up and down, the tilt of the fence, and then the tilt of the fence this way, just to ensure that you can get a perfect 90 from this plane to this plane. That's one of the major uses and reasons you have a joiner is to get a perfectly 90 degree edge. This fence, again, with it being... Um, cast iron and not aluminum or extruded aluminum or anything like that it stays in place very well and i have not lost my angle at all so i spent some time dialing it in to get a perfect 90 degree to the bed and it has stayed dead on since then every time i've checked and milled something with a square it stays dead on so and i think part of that is just the whole assembly back here it's very well supported and all of these parts are cast iron nothing's metal nothing's or nothing's aluminum or, or weak metal. Um, it's all very well put together. One of the other important features that I like about this in my shop and what's important to me is dust collection. This comes with a four inch dust port on the bottom. It does okay. That will kind of lead me into one of the cons of this machine is that even with dust collection, getting very good airflow, very good suction out of that, you know, um, to export all of those wood chips, there's still chips that show up and most of the time they show up right here along the front and down here on the bottom so they're coming out this little gap down here between the base and the machine itself another place that they accumulate is on the back in the exact same area on top of the base just behind the machine or the bed itself where the cast iron meets the metal so the dust collection is not perfect um but uh, that that's not a deal breaker for me um, most woodworking machines have very good dust collection but i have not seen very many that are absolutely perfect if you know of one that is absolutely perfect i'm not being sarcastic when i say i would love to hear about it because i'm always interested in good dust collection because that is less vacuuming and less sweeping and less cleaning up for me going back to the features of the helical heads one good thing about this good and bad so one of the bad things with any helical head system or helix system is going to be that the teeth are very expensive to replace um, you know i have a rigid planer that i can get blades for at the big orange box store for like 35 dollars. these that's not the case to buy a whole set the good thing is though that they're all square shaped which means they have four sides so once one of them wears out or becomes damaged, you can literally just rotate them 90 degrees. So essentially, if you want to think about it like this, you're getting four uses out of one set of blades. Another thing that doesn't pertain specifically to this joiner, but just cast iron in general, is it's hard to keep clean. I have a bad habit of just resting stuff here, sitting stuff here. You run your hand marks on it, whatever. There does become smudges. It can rust if you're not careful. So it's very important to keep this clean. In fact, this needs cleaning now. Um, there's no rust or anything, but I can start to see smudges and stuff. And I like to clean that well ahead of time before I get to the point of rust. So... It is nice to have machined cast iron material. Um, that means that your stuff's gonna be accurate, not gonna move, all that good stuff. But it does kinda slow you down in the fact that you do have to dedicate time to keeping this stuff clean so that it can stay well-maintained and accurate. So that's really all I have to say about this. Um, I'm sure there's other review criteria that you would like to hear or, or talk about. Um, and if so, leave those down in the comments or send me a direct message. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Um, if I think of more stuff, I might post a follow-up video down the road or answer any of your comments um, in another video down the road. So um, be sure to like this video if you found it helpful. Comment down below again with any questions. I will read them and reply as necessary. And then subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. If you enjoy the tool reviews, let me know. I'd be happy to do more of those as I have a whole shop full of tools that can use a video review. So thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.